Hello everyone, my name is Ping Yan Li, and I'm a third year nursing student from UTS. Today I'm going to talk about the heavy nursing workload as my topic, to see the importance of this problem, and how leadership can help us with it, and then what we can do as a new graduate student. This is the overview of the whole video. There are four main questions, which are the background of the topic and the effects of this problem to patient safety and a healthy workplace. What is being done currently and relevant policies? How leadership can contribute to the heavy nursing workload? What are the responsibilities as a new graduate student need to take care for this problem? And then is conclusion. For the first question, nursing workload determines crucial effects in contemporary nursing practice. The most direct thing is that heavy workload will cause stress and anxiety to staffs. At a time when work is harder, they need to take on greater responsibility as well, which will make negative impacts to patients and nurses. More conflicts may produce in nursing practice between, nurse, between nurses and patients or between nursing staffs. For patient safety, excessive nursing, nursing workload linked to higher patient safety risks significantly. Firstly, increased workload is more likely to increase stress and risk of burnout for nurses. It can affect nursing job satisfaction negatively, which will contribute to a high rate of turnover and the nursing shortage. In addition, some studies show that the more patients each nurse takes care of, the more possible the risk of burnout increases, which will result in more errors of omission. According to a study, by collecting data from four hospital 36 units, when nurses experienced higher workload than an optimal level, the ratio of patient safety in incidents increased 30%. For healthy workplace, nurses' workload has critical effects in her hospital setting. In almost every hospital, exercise nursing workload may impede nurses' abilities to think clearly resulting in disorder and omission during the working time. It is also possible to neglect teamwork because of too much work on their own, which greatly reduces overall efficiency and quality of healthcare. Even if nurses are expected to work effectively, an exhausted nurse may document unmatched or illegible uh, information which may be retrieved and adopted by the following shift carrier. Longer shifts and working overtime can cause a visual circle in hospital setting. Overall, a heavy nursing workload means that nurses have less time to attend the routine observations, wound care, hygiene, nutrition, patient education, documentation, and taking rest, which will affect both of patient safety and working environment. For the next question, what has been done about the heavy nursing workload? Currently in Australia, a number of tools has been developed to allocate acquired workload to staff in hospital such as the workload measurement and reporting system, patient classification systems, nursing activity systems, and nursing care classification system. By combining these tools, nurse managers are able to allocate nursing staffs appropriately by considering the demand and nursing nurse patient ratio, which can ensure patient safety and benefit to workplace through regional allocation of resources. For policies, Health Workforce Australia states that doctors, nurses, and midwives are three key professions for the future, 
It planned to improve productivity through workforce innovation due to the nursing shortage which is caused by the heavy workload. It includes analyzing the legislation of Commonwealth, state, and territory to clear the facts which hinder flexible use of workforce and clarifying a prehensive national approach, approach aiming at the nursing imbalances. Finally, the code of conduct for nurses can also guide nurses to high professional and regional interventions when they feel anxious due to the heavy workload. So leadership. How leadership can contribute to resolving the heavy nursing workload? Leadership can play an important role in this problem. If nurse, if nurse leaders are equipped with great leadership, they can help nurses to resolve many problems so that it will benefit to, benef to patient safety and a healthy workplace. At first, a qualified leader is able to allocate resources, staffs, and workload reasonably by considering demand of care, severity level of the patient, and balance of workload. For staffs who are experiencing a heavy workload, leaders can use leadership to develop nurses' emotional intelligence critical thinking and communication skills to relieve work stress. For example, critical thinking training can help nurses to make decisions based on a complex entry of factors. Patient safety will be guaranteed by more precise methods of, care, of health care. For patient safety, Leadership can help nurses receiving more reasonable and optimal workload, which makes nursing care more effective, reduce the patient safety incidences and medical errors. For the health work workplace, leadership is able to create an organized and a positive working environment in hospital setting. So what are the responsibilities as a new graduate nurse in relation to this problem? As a new graduate nurse, there are many things that we can do for taking our responsibilities dealing with the heavy nursing workload. Firstly, we should organize our workload appropriately in nursing care. It is important to estimate our daily workload and set a clear care of plan for ourselves. In addition, reasonable break time is also a significant part during working for a new graduate nurse. Most of new graduate nurses may ignore the tea break resulting in working overtime. However, it will reduce the effect of care and cause disorganized work actually. As a result, time management can effectively relieve the stress of the heavy nursing workload for new graduate nurses. Additional, we can be a good team, lead, team player. A mature teamwork can create bonds between nursing staffs, which will make difficult situation tolerable so that enhancing patient safety. In conclusion, the heavy nursing workload has been a major issue for a long time. It is closely related to patient safety and working environment, especially in hospital setting, and make negative effects. However, an effective leadership can help with staffing, allocation of resources, and time management to elevate, elevate uh, workload from various aspects. In addition, as a new graduate nurse, we should prepare for it in advance, practice more about time management and care plans, and arrange our own time so as we to reduce the burden on our workload as much as possible.